My professor tells me my topic is too dark for a thesis. I tell him he wouldn't think that if more dark people were given the chance to write one. I tell him, I want to write about how the Greek myth says Prometheus gave us fire so we could see in the dark, so we could cook our food, so we could warm our homes. But the colonizer lost the translation on the Atlantic while he sailed to us. When he got here, he has only used fire for control. Ask the natives as they became ashes floating in the wind through their pillaged villages. Ask the women of Salem as they went up in flames, praying to a creator that now welcomed them. Ask the burning crosses as their message of hope was distorted into a message of fear. Ask the burning crosses, ask the scorching churches, ask, ask, ask what my professor says to calm down. Says, relax. Says, you know, you gotta chill a little bit. <laughs> He says, the reason your thesis is so weak is because both sides have misused fire. Oh. So he clearly doesn't know the difference between the fire of hope on the torch of Lady Liberty and the fire of hate used on the torches in Charlottesville. And he wants me to chill. But how can I chill when there is fire in my veins? While I was born amidst fire, while Los Angeles burned as black and brown bodies rioted against a system that viewed us as gears too big for it to function, how can I chill when 29 years later we're still doing the same thing? How can I chill? How can I chill when my mother still calls me every night and my white friends think, oh, well, that's just a helicopter parent. But I know that's just a parent hoping a helicopter isn't chasing her son. How can I chill when every white supremacist in the White House has used the ink on our skins to paint a target on our backs? How can I chill when their fire of hate is now encased into bullets? And isn't that why they scream fire when they see us? The other thing my professor forgot is that while he Burn down my thesis. This poem was born. There is a certain warmth in rebirth. So if you're going to mess with the hate of the flame of hate, you better be ready for what rises from the ashes.